Well, obviously, this mission is all about the ocean and about the science, but in the meantime, this vessel has to get there, and that is not entirely straightforward. So joining me now is Pete Murphy, the chief executive of Priavo Maritime Security, and it's your job to get this ship there safely, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be providing maritime security for the transit down there through after the Red Sea. We'll be embarking a maritime security team on board to take it through the high-risk area. And the difficult bits are really start off Yemen to start with, and then the Somalian coastline. So just talk us through it with the, we're on the captain's bridge here. He's lent it to us for the moment so we can see where we're going. But yeah, talk us through it. Yeah, so a um, new area of conflict now uh, is off the, off the shores of Yemen. Uh, the conflict is... Uh, is um, reducing security in the in the region, which is spilling out onto onto the uh, onto the Red Sea. So that's now an area of, of concern where we're going to be uh, monitoring and, and keeping an eye out. Um, and then through the Gulf of Aden, we come down uh, past Somalia, which has had a long history now of, uh, of piracy and attacks on big vessels. And in fact, uh, Aldabra in the Seychelles, where we're going, has in fact been the subject of an attack a couple of years ago. So show us on the chart down here. We've got the, um, the second in command has been uh, getting all his charts out because he's got to work out the journey down. Um, but certainly, yeah, exactly. So the, the high risk area in this really dangerous part of the coastline has been shrinking, but still it's very difficult, it has, isn't it? It has been shrinking. It was reduced in 2015, and, um, but it is still a voluntary reporting area, as you can see on the interview for MTO. Um, years ago, there were attacks as far as um, Sri Lanka um, coming over from Somalia. Um, there, there were attacks reaching right out the way. Seychelles has also seen attacks, um, but even though the high risk area is reduced, um, you don't actually see this line in the sea. So, you know, being static in the areas that we're operating for such a long time, um, you know, it, 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 we're, in, we're in, a, in a static location for a long time, which could be um, monitored by. Uh, adversaries. So, so what are the Somali pirates after, effectively, then? Um, well, the, a vessel such as this is, 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 is lucrative in terms of ransom or in terms of uh, equipment. So they can get on board, they can take the ship in and hold it to ransom, uh, which is in the past. Um, they're trying to create law in Somalia now, so you know it's not so easy to take a vessel into shore now and hold it for ransom. So you know, they, they could, in fact, take very expensive equipment such as submarines off the vessel. Absolutely, and the submersibles, there's two of them out there, yeah. um, that are the, the, the parts of the really important part of the mission. Um, yeah. In terms of how, as you come through this area, how do you get your weapons? There's a, there's a mobile armory that comes to you, is there? There's a floating armory, so we'll pass that as we go down through the Red Sea. Um, at 19 degrees north, there's a floating armory. Um, they'll launch a Zodiac, they'll bring the kit out to us and the guys, if, unless they're embarked previously. Uh, and they'll win some on the side and bring them on, and then the team will get on. They'll run the captain and crew through their drills, um, so everybody's confident in what to do in the, in the unlikely event of an attack. Um, they'll all go into a safe area on board the vessel, and uh, our team will carry out a measured response. I mean, the irony is that the Somali pirates have left that part of the ocean in good nick. It's not being overfished like many other parts of the Indian That's Ocean. Right, I mean, there, there is an irony that they're actually pr providing their own marine protection area. Yeah, they are. And actually, the um, the start of the, the, the piracy was started by fishermen who actually um, started attacking the vessels coming into the fishing, in, into the area because there was a transitional government. It was it was lawless. There was, uh, you know, free fishing for all. They started attacking the vessels and then they obviously realised it was more lucrative to take the vessels. Um, but yeah, it is ironic that they're protecting those waters. Well, good to have you on. Thank you very much indeed, Thank Pete you. Murphy there. Um, and, and that is one of the interesting things, that the logistics of actually getting a, a really enormous boat like this all the way down into the Indian Ocean is itself complex. Uh, we're on the captain's uh, bridge right now. We've been down on the deck where it's being refitted uh, to become a research, a scientific research vessel. It's a really big job to get this expedition on the road. And obviously we'll be joining uh, the team at Necton down in the Seychelles, in the Indian Ocean, at this atoll. Um, uh, I'll have, um, and we'll have more details than that to come. Anna, thanks very much. This is Sky News coming up. We've got the sport.